Democrat Anna Escamani holds on to state House District seat 42, covering a section of Orange County. She wins a second term after 59 percent of voters chose her over Republican Gregory Pohl. Representative Escamani joins me now this morning. Good morning to you and congratulations. Thank you so much. It's an honor to serve my constituents for my final term in the state legislature. With so many changes, so much topsy-turvy uh, last night and then into the early morning hours, why do you think voters wanted to keep you in Tallahassee? Well, at Team Ana, our slogan is working for you and fighting for us. And we do what we can to meet people where they're at, to help solve problems, to put the drama aside and really focus on the everyday needs of our community, whether it's housing affordability, property insurance reform, public education, clean air and clean water. We care deeply about equality for every person. And it's those values and also our work ethic that helped us secure another victory back to the state legislature. And so having said that, are you surprised at how some of the other races went yesterday? It's a really great question. Um, of course, I'm disappointed in the result of Amendment 4. Um, that was an initiative to end Florida's near total abortion ban that I was very a part of. I'm proud that we were able to secure 57% of the support statewide, but of course, that was enough to actually end Florida's near total abortion ban. So we have a lot of work to do in this state, and I'm frustrated that I'm going to go back into a legislature where the Republican Party still has a supermajority, but we're going to have to dig our heels in deep and, and keep fighting for our values while also looking for those opportunities to build bridges to solve some of these complex problems that don't fall between a party line vote. Do you think some of those amendments could come back and what will you focus on in this upcoming term? Well, for me, I'm a firm believer that if we can solve poverty, it will alleviate so many of our other social ills, from housing affordability to criminality to uh, environmental concerns. If you can help address poverty and eliminate it in society, all these other problems will also disappear. So we're going to be focusing on housing affordability, on a tax structure that puts money back into taxpayers' pockets, um, on really trying to address the property insurance crisis so Floridians have a pathway to home ownership again. And we also want to hold corporations accountable. Again, so many of the challenges that we face in this country are the result of price gouging, of monopolies. So we have to bring competition back to our markets and really ensure that you have options as a consumer. We're going to do all of that and more because the other issues that I'm so deeply passionate about, of course, center on the needs of our most vulnerable community members. And especially when we think about the need of people with disabilities, our veterans, we have a lot of work to do in this state to deliver results and to make sure government actually works for you. And so how will you work with other, other forms of government in the state to ensure that that does happen? Obviously, you're one person. Certainly, this takes a group effort, right? And with the way things went, is that going to be a little more difficult for you, Anna? It will be. I mean, candidly, one party control for 25 some years in Florida has really hindered our ability to fix some of these broken systems, whether it's the delays that families face when it comes to uh, different government programs and safety nets, or even step up for students, which is the voucher program. So many of our families are just waiting and facing unnecessary delays and unable to access these resources that are rightfully theirs. And so it is going to be challenging, but I also take pride in the fact that we have navigated this difficult legislative environment now for six years and still able to get things done, including passing a permanent tax break on children's diapers, adult and contents products. So we will fight for our values. Uh, we will ensure that we are that strong voice in the legislature for common sense and for good policies. We'll also being persuasive in our efforts to find those opportunities of common ground. We've just got about 20 seconds left, and I know this answer will likely be longer than that, but I do want to ask you about the presidential race. Your thoughts? I'm 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 deeply concerned about the future of this country and to see President Trump become reelected means we're going to have to do a lot to protect many of our marginalized communities and I will be ready to do that. State Representative Anna Escamani, thank you so much for being with us. Congratulations once again. Thank you so much.